During my last video, I mentioned that I was leasing the Fiat 500e electric car. Well, it's been a few weeks since that video was made, and the lease is finally over. Which puts me in the precarious position of not having a car. And that raises the all-important question. Do you keep up with the Joneses and run out and buy the latest and greatest new car on the market? Or should you be economically sensible and purchase something a couple years old, off-lease, for example, that has been well-maintained? But what if there was even another option? What if you went further down that path and purchased something that was way below your means? We've all seen cars going for dirt cheap on Craigslist. You know, these are the bottom of the barrel. They've got quite a few years on them, quite a few miles. They need a little repair. But the savings are astronomical. For example, that brand new $30,000 vehicle. What if you bought it, I don't know, about 10 years later for $29,000 less? That's $29,000 that you just take and keep in the bank and have a blast. So what if it's not as good as a new car? I mean, you have all of that money in the bank. You could be throwing $100 bills out the window, laughing at these people that are, you know, judging you for driving an old car. Besides, what do you care what they think? These are the same people that, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, I mean, they would leave you for dead and not even think twice about it. I say, let them enjoy their $30,000 of debt and their $600 a month in car payments and the two or $300 a month in insurance costs that go with it. With an old jalopy, you probably end up paying about $40 a month in insurance. I mean, that sounds good to these ears. So, the question that I propose to you. Is it worth going out on a limb and picking up one of these Craigslist rejects? Well, today, I, Vlognosis, will be your guinea pig, and we will find out if such a scenario is worth your time and money. Let's go. And here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the new Vlognosis Mobile. It's got a few issues, kind of like me. Whoa. Broken windshield there. Um, what's this piece missing from the door? Oh, that's the lock. Wow, this roof has seen better days. And so has that antenna. Paint coming off on the spoiler, paint chipped off on the bumper. Looks like we got some damage over on this side too. Whoa, that is a... that's a dent on the roof. Let's check out the interior. It doesn't look too bad. It just needs a cleaning. Uh, wh whoa! What? What the? That armrest and that seat are horrible. And what's up with the steering wheel? Oh, that looks hideous. Ugh! Vomit. Let's check out the back seat. Good lord! It looks like somebody died in here. What is up with all of this crap everywhere? This is going to take some intense cleaning. Yo, snowman, pop the hood! Alright, we got some cleaning to do, and oh, it looks like there's an oil leak. And what what's up with this? It's just kind of dangling here. Even though this car looks like a wreck, it's actually still getting really good fuel economy. With gas at $5 a gallon, hey, I'll take it. One of the things that I really enjoy doing when I buy a used car is treasure hunting. Let's see 
what gems we can find in this glove compartment. Whoa, there's a lot of old paperwork in here that belongs in the trash can. And what? Rocks? Who keeps rocks in their glove box? Hey, that could be a song. I got rocks in my glove box. Time to check out the trunk. What is going on back here? It looks like the outdoors came inside. There's dirt everywhere. Hey, and I can see the ground through this hole in the floor. Check out that oxidation on the battery. Wow, that's that that can't be good for the electronics. Anyway, time to give this thing its initial scrubbing and possibly clear off 10 years of dirt. Okay, let's start tackling some of these repairs. I want to start with this front spoiler. It's cracked and sagging. It looks really bad. So I'm going to do a little bit of ghetto plastic welding. First, I prop the spoiler up so that it looks even the way it's supposed to be. And then I start melting the plastic My technique is to make some deep cuts and stitch it together. And then go back over it and smooth it out. Okay, the first step is done. You can see here, yes, it looks a little bit rough. But don't worry, we'll take care of that in just a second. And a view from inside, you can see that I welded from both the back and front. Okay, this is where we start to smooth things out. It's looking better. I also tackled some of the disgusting looking paint. I don't want to spend too much time on this. And voila! The result looks much better. Now let's tackle some of those paint scuffs that are all around the body. This scratch and swirl remover does a great job of getting rid of surface scratches. before and after. It's like magic. These things just disappear. All right, time to get rid of that dent on the roof. A $5 suction device like this actually works really good at pulling these dents out. Next, let's take care of those foggy, dim headlights. This is an easy fix that makes a dramatic change in how the car looks overall. You start by using some of the scratch remover to clear off a layer of that oxidation, and then you apply a couple layers of this clear lacquer. The result is not bad. The car looks 10 times better and it increases safety while driving because your lights are now like five times brighter without all that junk in the way. The pitiful remnant of an antenna. I went on to 
Amazon and I found this handy cover for $10. It'll give me radio reception and also make the car look a lot more modern. As you can see, you wire it up to the existing wire and you use this adhesive to keep it attached to the car. Not a bad result for only 10 bucks. All right, it's time to get rid of that crack in the windshield. It's annoying. It's a safety hazard if it blocks your view of something. You can also get a ticket for it. And here's my new windshield. Look at how clear it is. Oh, oh, just kidding. There's no glass in there yet. Here it is, my new windshield, complete with a Walter White blue tape treatment. Life is a lot clearer now. Let's do a little work on the interior with our guest star here, Lucky Cat. She's here to supervise my work. Okay, the leather on the steering wheel has to go. It's an eyesore and it feels disgusting in your hand. I picked up one of these covers that you can find at any auto parts store. For a few dollars and a few minutes, we could rid ourselves of this ugly steering wheel. Basically, you slip it over the steering wheel and then you use this plastic thread to wrap around the cover. The result is not very good. It kind of looks like a overcooked stay puffed marshmallow man steering wheel. This is not going to do the trick. This is this is coming off. So I went back online and I found a leather steering wheel cover with real stitching. You know it's great quality because it's from a company called Place Your Text Here. I slipped the cover over the steering wheel. It already looks like a better quality product. And they give you plenty of thread and a needle. Basically, you just spend a little bit of time slipping the needle through each one of the pre-stitched holes. pulling each stitch tight as you go. And the result, wow, it's breathtaking. It almost looks factory. The quality of this cover is definitely a keeper. I love that stitching. Moving down from the steering wheel, something's gotta be done about these pedals. They look hideous. I went back online and I found these from a Mercedes for about $15. They definitely add a touch of elegance to this disgusting Prius interior. The old pedal covers are rubber and they just slip right off. These new covers weren't designed for this car, so I did use a bit of glue to make sure they don't slip off. And the result is exactly what I wanted. It's a real pleasure to see these each time I enter the car. All right, let's tackle that disgusting, hideous armrest and driver's seat. I ran over to Walmart and for $15.99, I got this pair of seat covers. They look great. And I was able to repurpose some of that scrap Michael Kors purse material that I had sitting around. Do you remember that vlog? If you haven't seen it, Go check it out. So, as you've just seen, there is a lot of work involved when you buy a bottom-of-the-barrel Craigslist jalopy for about the equivalent of one-thirtieth the cost of a brand new car. But is the trade-off between the huge chunk of change that you're saving and the amount of work and effort that you have to put in, is it worth it? I mean, you just saw all of the effort I went through to make the car looking, you know, reasonably acceptable. When I first bought it, it was a complete wreck. It looked like something that somebody had left on the side of the road to die. Well, I will leave that answer up to you. I would love to hear how you feel about this experience that I've shown you today. Go ahead and leave a comment below 
and let me know your thoughts on this situation. Was this, was this no big deal, no sweat? Does this look like something that you might want to try out if you've never done it before to save that $29,000? Or were you like so disgusted by the whole experience that, you know, never, never, this is, this is not something that you would ever consider in your entire lifetime. Chime in, leave a comment below. I would love to hear your feedback. To me, it wasn't that bad. Even though, yes, there was a lot of effort involved, a lot of the aspects of getting this car looking acceptable were actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed the process of seeing all of those little scrapes on the body go away. And even though the steering wheel cover took a lot of time with all of that stitching, the results, well, every time I get in the car and I take a hold of the wheel, I remember how bad it looked and it's just, it's rewarding. It's so rewarding to remember what it looked like before and, and now enjoy the difference and, and know that that steering wheel, that stitching is my stitching. And at any time, if I change my mind, I've still got $29,000 that I would have blown on a brand new car sitting in the bank. So I could start from scratch, wipe this all away, consider it a learning experience. But something tells me that this was the right decision. And I offer to all of you out there, is it really worth blowing all of that money just to keep up appearances? to impress people that don't give a flying fuck about you. I mean, there are so many people that are drowning in debt and they have no savings out there. Why put yourself through all of that? Isn't it better to have a little something in the bank set aside and perhaps even express yourself through the repairs and modifications that you can do? To me, that is much more satisfying in here than writing a check to a dealership and driving a car that's the same as everybody else. All right, that about wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm sure we'll be hearing more about the new Vlognosis Mobile in the future. Perhaps it's even road trip time. Who knows what the future has in store?